All right, so in this video, we're gonna get set up with Atom, and I'm gonna show you how to use Atom to build websites. So the first thing I want you to do is go to atom.io, and on the screen here, you can read a little bit about Atom. It has different features like Teletype for Atom, which is like autocomplete. Um, it hooks up GitHub with Atom, so you can easily upload your code to GitHub. Also comes in with a bunch of built-in stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this here by hitting the download button here. And it's just gonna download, it's gonna take a second. It's not too large of a file. And the reason I like Atom is because it has a lot of different packages, themes, and extensive documentation on how to use Atom. So the themes make it really customizable so you can kind of make Atom look exactly as you would like. And the packages allows you to work in many different languages and essentially pick and choose what features you want from the text editor. Unlike other text editors that sort of have a lot built in, Atom sort of starts off with nothing and then you can just add features on as you need. So I'm gonna skip ahead in this video when this is done downloading. All right, and once that's done downloading on the Mac, you'll probably have a zip file, which you can just double click. On Windows, there'll be a very similar procedure as well. That's unzipped. And then you can just click and drag this into your applications folder. And Windows will probably have a little wizard that you can click through to install Atom. So just click through that, hit next, and you'll be okay. So once you've got that installed, double click Atom, and it'll ask you, are you sure you wanna open it? Hit open, and then you'll be opened up with this uh, welcome guide. So it says get to know Atom. You know, you have a bunch of different options here. We can choose a theme, choose a styling. I'm just gonna leave everything default. And of course, if you wanna learn more, you can click on the Atom docs here, or click on any of these links that will show you some additional information. For the purposes of this project, I'm just going to um, close out these tabs. I'm gonna close out the welcome guide. Then I'm gonna to go to file, new, new file. And then I'm going to just write a simple HTML file. So to do that, we want to have our open caret here, type in HTML. We're gonna do that close caret. So that's our opening tag for HTML. And then after that, we're gonna do a slash here, HTML and that's our closing tag for HTML. And then inside here, we can just write whatever we want. So I'm just gonna say Adam tutorial. And I'm gonna go file, save as. And here, I'm just gonna save it on our desktop here. I'm just gonna call it uh, website.html. And once you save it as a .html, you can see that Adam will syntax highlight or highlight the code in our editor. How can we open this up in our browser? So I usually like to run a split screen setup, so I'll move this to the side here, and I'll snap it to the left here. You can also just do it manually, adjusting like this. And then I'll go to our desktop here, and I'll open up this website HTML. I'm just gonna drag it over and drop it into Chrome here. And then I'll open it up into Chrome, and then I'll move this over to the right-hand side, like so. And now we sort of have our uh, development uh, environment setup. So this is kind of how you would write your code with the code editor on one, one side here and the browser on the right-hand side here. If you have two screens, you can uh, split screen the setup like that as well. Um, I'm just gonna bump this font up as well so we can see. And usually for HTML files, um, we have a body tag. So you'll notice when I'm starting to type in Atom, since this in nose is an HTML file, the autocomplete will start happening. So that's really useful, um, especially for beginners or even experienced developers. It just allows you to code a lot faster. So I'm gonna type body here, I'm gonna close that off, and then we're gonna close that off like that. And I'm gonna paste this into our body. And I can run a command S to save here or control S on Windows. And then we'll do a refresh here, which is command R on Mac, or you can hit the refresh button here like so. All right, so that is sort of how we got this working. And if you just make a change here, like new tutorial, and then you do a command S to save, or you can go file save, and then you go over here and then you do refresh. You can see that your browser will update immediately with the new text. So let's add a header here. So I'm gonna do open the caret up and then do H1 here. And you can see that Adam is already saying that there's some sort of error here because this is going all yellow. That's because we haven't closed this bracket off yet. So I'm gonna close that off and then I'm gonna just say this is the title. And then here, we're gonna close off this header tag here. So close that off. Then I'm gonna do Command S to save. And then over here, I'm gonna do Command R to refresh or you can click the refresh button. And now we have our H1 title. So that's sort of how you can set up your environment 
to start coding some websites. So in the next lesson, we're going to go over a bunch of other HTML tags. We covered uh, three of them here. So we covered HTML, body, and the H1 tag here. And we'll cover a bunch more in the next tutorial. I just wanted to get you set up correctly with Atom and your browser side by side like this so you can code along.